Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblock. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Jet Engine Relations to create a many to many connection between two custom post types doctors representing medical professionals and services representing the medical procedures or consultations. Each doctor can provide multiple services and each service can be offered by multiple doctors. So if you want to know how to do that, just keep watching. And by the way, if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on. And now let's get started. So here is my website with the two CPTs, doctors and services. First of all, I will go to Jet Engine Relations and create a new relation. I will set a name, for example, services related to doctors. And select the created post types as the parent object, in my case services, and the child object, doctors for me, in the corresponding drop-down menus. Make sure to select the many-to-many -many relation type and click the Add Relation button. And now let's check the parent post type. I return to the WordPress dashboard and head to the custom post type you have set as a parent object. Edit any post of your choice, scroll down, and you will see the following section where you can connect the posts. I will connect to Doctors. and they will appear in the Children Doctors section. And now when it's done, let's check if it appears on the Doctors page. There is just one service that I previously connected, but since we set a many-to-many -many relation, we can add as many services here as needed. Each connected service will have this doctor connected to it as well. The next step will be building a custom query, and I will explain a bit later why it is needed. So proceed to WordPress dashboard, Jet Engine, Query Builder. Click the Add New button. Fill in the name, for example, Doctors, and select the Post Query query type. In the general tab of the post query section, select the post type that you want to display. Since I'm building a query for doctors, I will choose the same post type. Then pick the published post status below. Now proceed to the post and page tab. And in the first option, post in, select related items macros and choose your relation. Then you need to choose parent or child object. Since it's a query for doctors, I will choose the child object option and set the next option to the current object ID. We can now preview the result. For now, the count shows 20. However, once I specify the post, a service in my case, it's going to show two related posts. And don't forget to press Add a Query, and now we need to do the same for the second post type. Everything will be the opposite here. I will select Services Post Type, and a Parent Object in the Related Items macros. The rest of the options will be the same. Previewing the results will show that everything is set right, so now we can move on to the next step. We will create a listing items for both post types. Proceed to Jet Engine, Listings slash Components. I will start with services that will be displayed on a doctor's page. So leave posts as a listing source and then pick the needed post type. I will name this listing services on doctor page to make sure I find it later. It's optional, but you can set a custom preview width that will be on the front page in the listing item settings. 
Now find and add the dynamic link widget. Permalink set as a source will make it clickable. For the label, I will use the title macro, however, you are free to use the dynamic tags. To display the service description, I will add the dynamic field widget, I'll leave the default source option, and select excerpt in the object field. I will also add some style adjustments and it's ready to be published. Of course, you can add more elements to the listing using other dynamic widgets if needed. Go back to the dashboard and create another listing item. At this time, I will select Doctors as the post type and name it Doctors on Services page. With the help of this listing template, we will display a list of doctors on the Services page. The Dynamic Image widget will help us display the doctor's thumbnail image. And of course, it's easy to adjust the size here, so it fits seamlessly into the layout. I will add another field, since I want to display the doctor's name. For that, I will use the dynamic link widget and add a title macro to it. After that, I'm gonna add another widget, dynamic field this time. Select metadata as a source and find doctor's specialty. Using the same settings, you can display any metadata. Alright, we are done with the listing templates. Now let's add the listings we just created to the pages. At first, I want to display services on the doctor's page. I will select, let's say, this doctor and add it its single template. Find a suitable place where you want to show connected posts. Since it will be a separate section, I will add the title Services and then place the Listing Grid widget. Select the needed listing item. As you can see, all services are displayed in this grid and it's not what we want. Here is where the custom query can help us. To specify the services that each doctor provides, I will choose the Services query. Now let's check the front end. It displays the connected services. I will check another doctor. And yeah, we have a different set of services here. And you can also see that it displays only the ones connected to this specific doctor. And the final step, let's do the same on the services single page. Repeat the same steps, add the listing grid widget, specify the listing template, and enable the custom query. At this time, I will select Doctors. Don't worry if it shows no posts. It just means that this post has no connected doctors in my case. Here is the result on the front end. It's clickable just how I wanted it. The services are there. And we can check another service from the menu. And there is the connected doctor. Guys, this will be it for this tutorial. That's how you can use Jet Engine Relations to set up a many-to-many -many connection. The setup allows you to create flexible, dynamic content relationships that are easy to manage and display across the site. I hope this helped you understand the process more clearly. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and give us a like. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.